In this video tutorial, I will discuss with you the difference between OpenSQL and New OpenSQL. Let's first understand what is SQL. SQL is a structured query language made up of three sub languages. Data definition language provides statement for creating the database object. Data manipulation language provides statement for reading and changing the content of database. Data control language provides statement for authorization and transactional control. Now let's see what is OpenSQL. The SQL variant known to the ABA programmer is called OpenSQL. OpenSQL in the ABAP language is a database abstraction layer with SQL like syntax that defines common SQL semantics for all the databases supported by SAP. This open SQL covers only small fraction of SQL language. In fact, it only covers small part of data manipulation language. Open SQL doesn't support to data definition language or data control language statements. OpenSQL has many limitations. Even most of the data manipulation language features are missing in OpenSQL. OpenSQL select query doesn't support computed columns, case expressions, right outer join. It's also not possible to have unions. There is no access to SAP HANA built in functions, SAP HANA views and procedures through OpenSQL. With the version ABAP 7.40 SP05, SAP introduces enhanced OpenSQL, commonly known as new OpenSQL. The new OpenSQL supports arithmetic expressions, arithmetic functions, case expressions, write outer join, union, and Union all. With the new OpenSQL, the maximum number of tables supported in OpenSQL join clauses has been increased to 50. Now, in new OpenSQL, it is possible to access SCP HANA built in functions, SCP HANA views, and SCP HANA procedures. In order to be able to enhance the functional scope of OpenSQL, SAP had to adjust the syntax of OpenSQL. As you can see here, to the left side, we have classical OpenSQL select query, and to the right side, we have new OpenSQL select query. Here, the first thing to note is the comma separated field list after keyword select. In case of OpenSQL syntax, fields are separated by space, whereas in case of new OpenSQL syntax, fields are separated by comma. With the new OpenSQL syntax, even the field list after additions, ordered by and grouped by, have to be comma separated. The second difference is the add direct symbol for escaping so called host variables. The ABAP language is considered the host of embedded OpenSQL. So, host variable means ABAP variable or constant inside the OpenSQL statement. Every host variables must be escaped with the preceding at direct sign at the every position in the statement. The new OpenSQL syntax is a prerequisite to allow for more sophisticated expressions in the select clause. For example, if you want to use case expression, arithmetic expressions in the select query, then you have to use new OpenSQL syntax only. It is also not possible to have OpenSQL and new OpenSQL syntax in the same select query, meaning you cannot have the fields are separated by space and above variables 
escaped with a direct sign. That means you cannot combine OpenSQL and new OpenSQL syntax in same select query. With the ABAP 7.50, a different order of some of the clauses of OpenSQL statements is supported. The into clause no longer has to precede the where clause but can follow it. For example, here in case of new OpenSQL statement, you can see we are using into clause after the use of where clause. The from clause can now be the first followed by the column list starting with the explicit keyword fields. As you can see here, we have used the from clause first and then we are specifying the field list using keyword fields. So basically, all this arrangement helps to increase the readability and supportability of select statements. Now let's discuss about the union and union all. The syntax option to place the into clause at the end of select statement enables the support for forming the union of OpenSQL select statement results using union and union all. As you can see in this example, we can use union and union all to combine the result of two select query into one internal table. When you use union, the combined result contains no duplicate rows. Whereas when you use union all, the results are combined and the duplicate values are not removed. Let's have a look at the prerequisite to use union and union all. Use of sign asterisk after keyword select is not supported. We have to use field list explicitly in the select query. The number of columns in the both the select query should match. The matching columns must be in the same order and of a compatible type. That's all for now. See you in next video tutorial.